Hey guys, it is me, Hypusari Ken. Welcome back to Last in Earth Survival. So today we're going to talk about one of the more interesting events, I guess, the port laboratory. So by clearing this event, you can get some carbon composites and you can get a couple of factory parts. But what's different about this event? Well, nothing's really different about this event, but what's uh, what I'm going to do differently today is I'll try to clear the laboratory with melee weapons. I think I have never brought a single melee weapon to the laboratory whenever I bring any melee weapons. I just still end up using guns and the laboratory takes a really, really long time to clear anyway. So that's why I always used guns there. However, I think to spice some things up, why not bring melee weapons? So I'll try to use as many melee weapons as possible. It's not going to be possible to clear the entire laboratory with just melee weapons because sometimes we will find their acid melters. So, hey, this might be like one of the... One of my first efficient runs of the laboratory. Still, you cannot really do the run extremely efficiently. You're still not going to profit from the laboratory. But a lot of you need to know how to get the drone. A lot of you want to know how to get the drone. And you can get that by clearing the laboratory. So why not clear it with melee weapons? However, before we do this, we have a raid ready outside. So let's try to go and let's try to do that raid. But before we hop there, welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. Glad to see all of you here. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments down below. There you can find timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker. And we are going to go and do this raid called Sissy. Sissy? Sissy? Probably it's called Sissy. So, in any case, let's see what this raid has to offer. I've done like half a second research. I have no idea what this raid has uh, to give me. All I know is that it's a very easy base to enter and that's what we're going to do. So, once again, to those that have just joined, welcome, welcome, chat. Glad to see you here. Hello, hello. Hello, I've forgotten to say the third hello for the luck, right? You cannot just say two hellos. Hello, hello. You got to say hello, hello, hello. It's a lot better. <laughs> In any case, we've gotten three chests. Hello for each chest. Let's see what we're going to get here inside of the first chest. This dude doesn't even have the radio assembled. Again, I know that we are raiding bots. But it is what it is. Let's get a couple of stones. Let's get a couple of logs. Let's destroy these fast biters. Let's put the fast biters to sleep. I raided that base yesterday. I think... I don't know how we get these raids. Because every time I raid a base, like, somebody will say that, Oh, I've raided that base recently. Maybe it's just we have... Uh, yeah, maybe we don't have a lot of bases, and that's why people end up raiding the same bases that I raid. Or maybe they're, like, on some sort of a rotation. I don't know. In any case, let's open up here the third chest, and let's see what we can get here. An electronic circuit and some canned food. I think that's it. I have raided this entire base, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it does not get Sykes approval. What an amazing start to the live stream. Would you give it your approval? Because I have no idea. It is what it is. Uh, Black Eye Games, welcome to the stream. What do you like about this game? I tried to ask you last night, but you was busy. Hope you got time to day to tell us. I have no idea. Welcome to the stream, Black Eyes. Thanks for a very important question. Important question deserves a very important answer. So hopefully you're happy with that answer. Welcome to the stream. Very awesome raid, 10 out of 10. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed this raid. I also enjoyed this raid. It's amazing. L-based waste of a C4. I've even forgotten that I had to use a C4 in that base. So it is a it is an L-based. 0 out of 10 raid. It is a horrible raid. One of the worst bases you can probably get. I don't think bases get worse than this. Like, we have gotten this electronic circuit, but... <sighs> it is a horrible raid. That's all I have to say. What time should you make stone walls as Black Eye Games? You quickly jump from one topic to another topic. Uh, make sure to check out everything you need to know video. Link is down in the description. Everything you need to know about Last on Earth. Or you can also check out the free-to-play playlist while you're at it. I remember the first time I met Sire, he did not approve of me either, says Rudy. What? I approve of everybody. Yo, Emilian Zakhov. Thanks for the super chat, Emilian. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Hopefully you're having a great Saturday. You might be like, Sire, today you know was the day of the week. Yes, today is 100% Saturday. I still double checked it, but I knew that it's Saturday. I have evolved, ladies and gentlemen. I have evolved. Uh, all right, let's drop these hatchets here. Let's quickly go to the settlement and then let's buckle up and let's start the port laboratory with melee weapons. As I said, this will be probably my first time bringing melee weapons to the laboratory because every time I brought them, 
I just ended up using guns anyways, so I might as well just get some melee weapons and put them to work. Uh, this one, and let's add another one here. Um, yeah, we got enough stuff. Let's go to the settlement. Plus, we're gonna get the daily loot, if I even can get that daily loot. I should be able to get the daily loot, maybe. I actually forgot it was Saturday. Thanks for the reminder, says Grumpy. Welcome to the stream. I'm glad I, help, I was able to help you. Well, it gave a circuit, which is all right. It's not all right. It's not worth it to get that circuit. These circuits are not that rare. So that raid was bad. It was 0 out of 10. That circuit did not save the raid. Oh, we can get the daily loot. Beautiful. I also should be getting my daily loot from the free-to-play account more often. I should be logging in from my phone to just get that daily loot on my free-to-play account. You can get a lot of loot. Like, let's say you don't want to play the game for a month. You can still log in here and keep getting like 10, 15 planks a day. And that'll accumulate quite a lot. So, I don't know. That'll add up quickly. That's what I'm trying to say here. For melee weapons, agility plus uh, jagged wounds is OP. If you have the agility perk. If I don't get the agility perk, I'm not getting the agility perk. If I get the agility perk, then I'll take the agility perk. I still wish developers added an ability to skip perks with ads. Because we got ads anyways. We can watch 10 ads a day. They might as well let us uh, choose perks. There we go. I think we did everything there is to do. Let's skedaddle from here. Let's go. Just pretend you needed that circuit for getting Bob the deer. Who's Bob? Who's the deer? And I'm very confused. Extremely confused. Never been more confused in my entire life. In any case, let's get some melee weapons. And let's dip out, ladies and gentlemen. Let's roll. Hi, sorry. Why have you not set up Western Watchtower with the drone yet? Do you need special items for that? Yes, you do need special items for that. Um, okay, melee weapons, that's what we gotta take. Obviously, I'm not gonna be taking spears. I think it's silly. But we are gonna take a couple of saw blade maces. Maybe I'll take these higher durability saw blade maces because you already need to bring an entire inventory of guns just to clear the laboratory and you'll need even more melee weapons probably. Let's get a bunch of machetes. Oh lord, we also need guns. We still need guns. I'm just gonna get Glocks. Four Glocks. I'll get another set of armor. And uh, we are... Okay, destroyed some sort of a schmuck. Okay, cool. Beautiful. You wouldn't have flies in your house if you showered. Thanks, guys. Thank you. For your tips and tricks. Really appreciate that. Two saw blade mace is enough, says John Justin. Maybe I should take only two saw blade maces. Maybe that is... That is true. I don't even know if this engine mod is better than the crane mod. Maybe I should just get the crane mod to the port laboratory. Or is the crane mod better? I don't think it doesn't... I don't think it matters, actually. You don't even need mods. Um, let's get a few more melee weapons. Another Glock, perhaps. More, more machetes. And we'll see. The goal is just to at least clear A1 and A2 floor. Because those floors will take quite a while to clear. But we'll see. Maybe we'll even dip our toes into the B1 and B2 sectors. Why take so many extra weapons with you? It takes some space. Because in almost all video, I see you still are left with few full durability weapons when you clear the whole transport up, says Matthew Spellman. Welcome to the stream, homie. Glad to see you here. Thank you for keeping the memes alive. I'd love to see what other memes you have there written down in your in your notes. But I love these memes. Keep them coming. Welcome to the stream. And we gotta get more food and more batteries. Don't forget the drone. I'm not ki getting the drone with me to the lab. And I'll get the first aid kits. Uh, are we done? No, we're not done. I need to get some food, ladies and gentlemen. How are we gonna leave this place without food? Have we deleted armor off stream? I'm not gonna tell you that. I know I would never delete anything, actually. I've never deleted anything. It's fine. If I need something else, I'll come back here to the base. We got some healing items. 
and I'm ready to roll. Cyric, are you excited for the upcoming update? Very excited. I couldn't fall asleep yesterday. I kept in bed uh, wiggling my toes, like shaking from happiness. Extremely excited for the new bike skin, for the uh, lunar bike skin that perhaps will come on February 10th because that's when the lunar new year begins. And to get this new skin. Extremely excited. Couldn't fall asleep. Hopefully you guys are excited as well. I think this is the most excited I've ever been. Very, very, very excited. Excitement is... is unreal. As you can see here by my face, I'm extremely excited. Never been more excited in my entire life. Cyric, I finalized my first blueprint, and it was Grip Mod for M16. Was it worth it? Yes, it's one of the best blueprints in the game, and I'm glad you finalized it. It was worth it. I think it was worth it in my personal opinion. Oh no, I forgot to fill up that bioreactor. It's so stupid. I'm not gonna lie, that bioreactor is so stupid. The, the, the whole mechanics about the stupid bioreactor is just stupid. Like, why do you need to fuel it up? The place already is not worth it. It's already stupid. You don't get any loot here, and yet you need to spend loot to get inside of here. I don't know, man. In any case, I have here a stack of seaweed. So let's take it in my underground secret lab that nobody knows about. What would you recommend for someone just starting the settlement? Make sure to check out my everything you need to know video about LDOE. The long story short, check out the video. That's the long story short. Do the settlement, play as long as you can play there. Basically complete the survivor's path, right? Do the survivor's path and you should be done with it. If you want to progress more, progress more. If you don't want to progress more, don't progress more. But you have to finish the survivor's guide. So finish the survivor's guide and do as many expedition waves as possible. That's about it. Those are all tips and tricks that I have here. Now, let's get the melee weapons. Let's get ready. Uh, we're gonna have a Glock here. So it doesn't really matter what kind of perks we get here. Hopefully we don't get the debuffs. Enemies' armor is increased by 15%. That's bad. Enemies take 50% less damage from melee weapons. The B1 sector is horrible. Like, when you have this buff here, the debuff, actually. You shouldn't probably continue doing the laboratory. Like, if you get this debuff, you're not gonna be able to clear the B1 sector with melee weapons. Maybe you will be able to clear it, but it'll take a lot of melee weapons. So today's goal is to at least clear the A1 and A2 sector using melee weapons. You shouldn't be clearing B1 and B2 sectors anyways, as they're not worth it. So, uh, there's that. And enemy's armor is increased by 15%. That's also a pretty bad debuff. That's a pretty crappy debuff. We're not gonna refresh anything. Immunity to stun effects. That's actually a pretty good perk. Zombies cannot heal anymore. It doesn't work on bosses. Are there any zombies that heal? Grants access to wall-mounted devices of the laboratory, which restore health and remove negative effects. I think we're just gonna get the Iron Head. This was a pretty nice park. You don't get stunned. So, let's get it. And let's see what we got here. Is there a spitter? Okay, so this dude isn't a spitter, so we don't really need anything too crazy. We just need our saw blade mace. And let's now deal with these spore runners. And this other dude. Okay, I should have probably lured it all the way to the bottom to be able to wall trick them. Hello, dude. Hello, sir. Okay, will that work? Okay, do they move? No, they do not move. Epic. So there you go. This is basically how you wall trick them. That's basically the laboratory. Also, I want to do here kind of a test run, because maybe I'm going to be making a free-to-play episode on where I clear the laboratory, where I try to get my drone, and I haven't cleared the laboratory with melee weapons, so it's not like it's impossible. It's not like we're not going to do it. I think it's just nice to do it at least once or twice. Maybe we'll find some other tips and tricks. And my inventory is already full, and I cannot take anything else with me. I have taken way too many items, plus we've gotten one carbon composite. Sometimes there is the acid melter, so be careful when you open that door. Uh, I'm gonna get the gun. I don't think there is the acid melter there. Maybe there is one. Okay, there is no acid melters. Maybe there was a way to open up the door and sneak it. Sneak attack, it doesn't matter. Okay. What do we have here? 
Okay, so just a bunch of basic zombies. Let's get back our saw blade maze. Also, there's another thing that I'd like to tell you. Oh, no, I accidentally stood up. That's sad. I wanted to open up this door just in case if things go south. You can always... There we go. Let's say I made a mistake. I can always go back to the first floor. So that's the tip and trick that I wanted to share with you. Just in case if you make a mistake, you can always leave. And you can re-enter and then you'll be able to wall trick them again. But to do that, you have to open up the door because it takes a while to open up that door. Was your intention for this emote a stub your toe pain face or an evil laugh? I don't even know what was the point of that emote. That emote is... That emote was from Discord and I've added that emote many times. It's just like yelling and screaming. Whatever. Okay, it's not going to work because they'll just see me now. Yep. Well, mistakes were made. Let's go all the way here. Let's go this way. I'm not sure to hide behind the wall if that even works. Okay, they're still attacking me. So that was a stupid wall. What about I bring them here? Okay, so it's easier to wall trick here on this wall, apparently. Because sometimes they still can attack it through that wall. It's kind of a stupid wall. So let's get the screamer. Then it was my third guess, so it's really maybe. It's just a screaming, disappointed, angry emote, I guess. It's like you're immune from the stuns, you don't have to hide. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know. I'm just doing here the run to those that, let's say, couldn't get the s immune to the stun effects. And also, if I keep doing this, people will ask me, oh, like, why you don't get stunned? And then I'll have to explain that I've gotten the immune to stun effects. That way I have less questions to answer. And I'm just doing the basic run that anybody can repeat. Uh, all right, there's the scientist. I think we should be able to sneak attack it with the saw blade mace. Okay, we've got an, perhaps a spitter. No, we did not get the acid melter. So here it'll be difficult. Okay, there's just one shambler. I think we can get that shambler by aggroing it. I think it can be pretty slow. There we go. We can just get that Chambler. And we can just wall trick here on this door. What level is your business on? I don't know. I don't have any businesses. We can do a lot more damage to the Chambler when you have slashing weapons like machetes. Okay, we're still getting damage. Looks like the dude does delay damage. All right. Let's pick that up. Okay, cannot take any cards. I'll need to do something about that. Okay, the melee weapon is about to break. I might as well just yeet it to get some more space. Uh, let's get that and let's start taking these cards. Do you play crater mode? I don't actually play in the crater. I do not play in the crater. Nobody plays in the crater. That's the reason why I don't play in the crater. Like, what does the laboratory give you? I haven't cleared it yet. It gives you the settlement items. Okay, so we don't have a chest there. I'm not going to loot that room. And we don't have a chest there either. Wait, do we have a chest? I don't see it. No, we do not have chests. There will be this dude that'll spit on us, so we got to be careful. I don't know if that'll work. Okay, that did work. Maybe I stood up a little bit too early. I should have gotten a gun, so let's get a Glock real quick. And I uh, should have opened up the door. Okay, the, I got spat by this acid melter. Mistakes were made. At least I'm immune to the stun effects. And I got spat again. Unbelievable. Disgusting. That was terrible. That was horrible. Should have killed that acid melter. I thought the door is still going to be open, but apparently it was locked. Uh, that's all right. Goodbye armor, though. And I'm stuck here. cornered myself. Do not go up here. Or bad things will happen. Whoops, my armor's already gone. That's why I did take another armor. Yeah, without that stun effect, would have been so much worse. I would have died here. Yeah, just don't go up here. 
or <laughs> you will get stuck. So that's a no-no place. All right, I know that for the next time. Let's get this. All right, we can peacefully start wall tricking this guy. We are getting some carbon composites. Finally, I've taken another armor, so we have some more space in the inventory. So let's say that I die, that I lost my armor there on purpose. Wait, I need to open up that door. How does it work? When I open up that door, the other door closes. Oh, probably when I re-enter, it closes. In any case, let's open this up. I should have opened up that door before I went there. Because there was that acid melter. I wanted to see if I could have uh, uh, sneaked the tag them twice. Doesn't matter now anymore. Gotta be ready again. Okay, let's sneak. I was able to sneak. Cool. Wait, there can be another spitter though. Will I be able to sneak attack them from there or from the other side? I think it's gonna be difficult to sneak attack them. Something tells me I won't be able to sneak attack them. Okay, I was able to sneak attack it, and we have this guy. Okay, just for the sake of a test. I want to get out of here. Oh, it gets locked! Okay, didn't mean to use my Glock there. That's fine. Let's keep moving. And I got spat on again by this stupid dude. Unbelievable. Okay, Acid Melter's dead. And now we can deal with this slasher. Alright, let's go back. Let's get some more managers. When will the update come out? I don't have a slightest clue. Around 10th of February, probably. So I do have a slight clue, but that's about it. Open the chest, there are five cards inside. Which chest? What is the most annoying zombie in the game? Probably Acid Melter. As they just melt your armor. They destroy your armor, they melt your armor. They're kind of stupid. Oh, this one. This is the crate that I had to open up, I see. Okay, let's get that. And let's go deeper. Every time you open a door, every time you approach another group of zombies, be aware that there might be that acid melter. Okay, I don't think we have an acid melter here, though. Yep, we do not have the acid melter. So yeah, I'll, cap I'll have to keep opening up the door as it closes. I thought using the door trick will be worth it, but apparently the door keeps closing all the time. In any case... Can I wall trick them here, or will I get... Okay, it's fine. Oh, wow. I've gotten the bleeding damage, of course. It's gonna be a crappy wall trick here, that's all I have to say. At least I'll try to avoid that slasher. Okay, got him. That slasher damage. I knew it. Shouldn't have been too greedy. Okay. We could probably move them to another wall. We could try to somehow, some way, resync them. But that's alright. Soak up a little bit of damage. Okay, that's it. Now we just have to deal with this slasher that has 400 health! Ridiculous. That's all I have to say. Absolutely ridiculous. Does leg shot take away more durability than a regular shot? A leg shot more than... No, it, I think it does the same amount of damage. 
Uh, let's get back my melee weapon. The slasher has an insane amount of health. To be honest, when there are those three zombies... Oh no. Didn't move far enough. When there are those three zombies, I would just probably suggest you to kill one of them with a the Glock faster. That's probably what I'll end up doing on my free-to-play account. Because you can... probably wall trick them. But that way you have more room for air. And air is not good. Okay, let's try to open up this door and let's try to sneak if I'll be able to sneak quick enough. Nope. But hey, that's okay. It's an easy room. No acid melters. When will the update come out? I think I've answered that question a few minutes ago. Around February 10th, because that's when the Lunar New Year begins. But that's about it. That's just my speculation, by the way. I think I have to mention that. That is just my speculation. Is Necrotic Hybrid the worst boss in the laboratory? Yes. That dude is the worst boss in the entire laboratory. Okay, so there we might have the Melter. Yes, there is the Melter. Okay, so we'll have to aggro one of those dudes. I'll have to get the Glock and I'll have to quickly put that dude to sleep. I might as well do this now then. Okay, I'll wait until that spore attack will attack again. And then it'll hop in. Maybe it is possible to enter the room. Okay, that is so stupid. That is so stupid. I've never done this before. I'll probably get spat on. But hey, that's fine. The dude will spit. Okay, so as soon as I start it, I'll have to run and then I'll have to get out of here. Not sure how if that'll work. Okay. There we go, we dipped out. That's beautiful. That is very beautiful. I'm gonna wait until this dude gets stuck. And I'll deal with this acid melter. Oh no. Okay, have to dodge it. There we go, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. The most difficult part is over. All we have to do now is just deal with these couple of spore runners and that's it. Let's get a melee weapon. Oh my goodness, can't you attack that smaller zombie? This is so stupid. There we go, we got the spore runner and now we can easily deal with this screamer. The icebreaker is difficult. The icebreaker isn't a difficult, it is indeed difficult. However, I don't think you should be, should be killing that icebreaker. It's not really worth it unless you wanna get that a red cylinder, but I think you only get it from the hard mode laboratory, not from the normal mode laboratory. So it's probably not worth it. You shouldn't be killing it. Like, even if you get that gas cylinder, that red cylinder for your ATV, I still don't think it's worth it. It's just probably better to clear Bunker Bravo during the event. Okay, let's go through here, and that's almost it. Okay, so there's another room with a bunch of zombies. So I'm gonna get this Glock ready. I'm gonna prep this so that I don't get spores. And that is it, all those schmucks will attack me. Cool, I'm gonna just lure this acid melter as far as I can. Oh no, I still got, made a mistake, made a mistake, whatever. When you make a mistake, just stay in one spot and soak up the damage, that's fine. And my arm is broken again. Whoops. Whoops! Whoops! I tried to heal. I kept clicking on the Glock. My bad. Where is that smaller health zombie? There we go. Let's get it and let's try to bring them back. I think by trying to wall trick them, I just what, use more healing items. Oh no. Okay, we got that spore runner. That spore spreader is stupid. It does only 7, 10 or whatever damage. And the dude moved. Oh lord. I'm out of armor. Okay, let's try to get this guy to sleep. And uh, we gotta get out of here. 
to get another set of armor, or I can just get it from the inbox. So lots of mistakes were made here on this floor. I used up two sets of armor. You can definitely be a little bit smarter and you can dodge those attacks. However, you won't always be able to dodge them. Well, I mean, you can always dodge them. If you're always ready and you don't make any mistakes. But mistakes will happen. Uh, let's get this and wait, what else do I need? Boots? Yeah, I gotta get boots. Let's get a pair of boots. Did I get it? Yep, we've gotten the boots. So it wasn't that expensive. I mean, we've used up like what, only one Glock here? And a couple of melee weapons. So definitely A1 sector is pretty easy. Get rid of the 50% damage from melee weapons. I do have probably that uh, perk or whatever. We could have done that. I cannot do anything right now. You can only remove that perk if you have that special card, and you can only do this at the beginning of uh, of the run. Okay, there will be that spitter. I'll probably get another Glock. I'll heal up. Okay, we got that dude. Killing it here, it's stupid. to do this and now we got to deal with that spore spreader okay, we are getting some damage but I'd rather kill it faster than than use more healing items there go plus I can avoid those spores when he starts those spores There we go, let's deal with this spore spreader. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with A1 sector. So it wasn't that expensive, to be honest. Plus, if you don't make any mistakes, it'll be even a lot cheaper. So A1 isn't that expensive. However, it's still not worth it. The amount of cards that I get here is not worth it. Like, if you get an entire A1 crate just for A1 sector, then maybe. But even then, I don't think it would have been worth it. Okay, let's go deeper. By the way, if you're gonna watch the stream on two times, you can see the future, it says undercover. Uh, I think you build the time machine. We have the all in perk, immunity to all negative effects, but your body won't be saved after dying. That's a silly one. Sprinter, when sprint ability is active, the amount of incoming melee damage is reduced by 90% while the cooldown time is de decreased. Um, what should I bring here? I'm literally clearing the place here right now. You can just watch the stream and see what I brought here. Uh, I'll probably just get this because out of these three perks, this one is probably the better one. Maybe this one is all right, but I don't really activate the sprinting perk that often. I don't even have the sprint perk here because I use the sneaking perk. All right, I'm going to open the door. Actually, the A1 sector was very fast with melee weapons. Maybe when you sneak attack them and everything, you... You clear this place faster. I don't know. Okay, that's just a scientist. Okay, we got that scientist. And as soon as you attack one of those zombies, they reset. Oh no, this dude will attack me. There's nothing I can do about that. Okay, how about I hide here? Okay, that worked. No, that didn't work. Oh, no, that did work. I'm just getting the bleeding damage. I got pretty lucky with this spot. It's always going to be pretty tricky to wall trick them here. All right, I'll take it. Would you recommend playing this game as a free-to-play on my phone or should I download it on my PC? And how did you download it on yours? Thanks. That's a lot of questions. Uh, go Google how to use Android emulator. Just go and Google type Android emulator and you'll learn everything you need to know. And it's up to you if you want to play it on your phone or you want to play it on your PC. 
That's my answer. Hopefully you're happy with the answer. If you're not happy with my answer, that can give you another answer. You shouldn't be free to play player. You should be a pay to win player. If you don't have money, you can sell your house. And yes, you should play on your phone and on your PC. If you have friends, you should get rid of them and you should just play the game. There, I gave you two answers. You can pick whichever answer you prefer. I give you options. Oh no, oh no. There will be a spitter probably and I didn't get a Glock. That'll be stupid. Oh no, there's another spitter there and I got stuck. This is so stupid. Okay, so for this room, I would take a Glock instead. Uh, okay, let's deal with the Toxic Spewer. I will try to deal with the scientists as well while we're at it. Like, wall tricking is cool and all, but it's... They will suck up way too much health. Okay, we did it, and now we can wall trick the screamer then. Sheesh. Could probably bring this guy a little bit closer. There we go. I'd say probably perfect. There we go. Definitely perfect. New games to plot uh, in mind to play soon. I think on 22nd of February or at the end of the February. We will get the Pacific Drive. So I think I'm going to be playing the Pacific Drive fully. Either on the live stream or in video. So I'm excited for that. Any other games? I don't know. There isn't Shrouded. I kept... I Yeah, I want to play in Shrouded. I kept my eye on it for a while. So maybe I will check out in Shrouded. But I don't know. We'll see. Um... Ladies and gentlemen, let's roll to here. It's like when, for example, I got military backpack on PC and then log in and mobile. I haven't gotten military backpack there. What do I do? Uh, you shouldn't log. The last generator doesn't really support crossplay. If you want to save something, you should exit the base. Let's say you got the military backpack on your mobile. Then you have to, let's say, exit the location. Let's say you got that military backpack during the arena event. You have to leave the arena event, perhaps go back to your base, load in the base, exit the base again, and then the game should save if you're going to log in on your computer. If that doesn't work, then it doesn't work. You shouldn't really do this. It's not safe. Developers don't recommend that. Like, it, there is cro uh, cross-play. Like, you can play on iOS, you can play on Android, but the game saves the progress very poorly. Sometimes it does save the progress, sometimes it doesn't. But, in my opinion, if you want to save... In my experience, actually. If you want to save the progress, you have to leave the area. Then it kind of saves the progress. Or leave it a couple of times. And it should save. Oh my goodness, I, I clicked heal, but that didn't work. That was way too late. I saw that I had 30 health, but I was like, eh, I don't want to use my first aid kit, but then we died. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, I needed more bandages anyway, so let's get a couple of stacks of bandages, and let's go back to our good old laboratory. Can you remove the debuffs from the lab? No. Not really. I already have a couple of seaweeds there, so we don't need more. We need armor. We have armor in the inbox. It's like, I wanted to know how do you play on PC. I've literally answered this question a couple of seconds ago. Go and Google about Android emulators. Type in Google Android emulator and you'll learn everything you need to know. The game saves once when you leave a location and once you take something from the inbox. I didn't know that it takes that it saves when you take something from the inbox. But it doesn't always save. It's not really guaranteed. Even when you exit the location, it's still not going to save all the time. Most of the time it should save, but sometimes it doesn't. Why are you going to the transport up? Because I'm an idiot. 
And I wanted to go to the laboratory, but I went to the transport hub. Was the best place to get robber parts for a level 30 from the sewer location. The sewer location is located at the laboratory. So he loves the transport hub. Yeah, I accidentally went to the transport hub because I clear the transport hub probably too often. Too many times. And that's why I went there. Just keep thinking about the transport hub. What do level 5 walls do? Literally nothing. They they take your happiness. They steal your happiness, so you shouldn't be building level 5 walls. Min is getting too old for this. We need to remind you of everything, says Peppy. At least you're useful for something in this life. You can remind me. To Peppy. I'm saying that personally to Peppy, not to everybody. Just Peppy. Uh, let's go deeper. Uh, let's go to the second floor. Can you make a new video? I have to clear the farm. Why would you need another video when I already have two videos? I assume you have already seen how to clear the farm. Why would you need another video? I have already cleared the the farm on the new account. I have like multiple videos. You've already seen them, I assume, because you said, can you make a new one? Why would I make a new one? If the old ones are the good ones. The old ones that came out like a month ago. It's not really an old video that came out a month ago. Daily, guys. We need daily farm update. Daily video on how to clear the farm. Unless you haven't seen it, then hey, I don't blame you. I don't blame you for that, then. You should check it out. But if you have seen it, then no, there won't be an updated farm video when the farm didn't get any updates and that video came out like a month ago. It's like, is the shop worth it? Perhaps? Yes, it is very worth it. You should definitely use the shop. Sell the house, sell the kidney, and use the shop. I think it's very worth it. Okay, we're going to... Sneak attack this scientist. Okay, it's going to die anyway, so I might as well just sneak attack this slasher. Okay, at least it didn't get any damage in the face. Okay, what if I stay here? Will they move? No, they do not move. That's cool. I swear, some of the zombies move in the laboratory. I might be tripping, though. Sell my kidneys? I have no idea. You can do whatever you want. You're asking silly questions, you get silly answers. And we can restore our health here. There we go. Can you use it only once? You can probably use it only once. Okay, how about I open up the door and then I'll try to sneak. I don't think I'll be able to sneak fast enough. Oh, I was able to sneak fast enough. Except it doesn't really matter. Um... Okay. Let's hide here. And they're all stacked. Beautiful. Why do they have so much health here? Kind of nuts when you think about it. This one. There we go. Best Uzi mod. I don't really have any Uzis here right now, so I can't show you what Uzi's mod I got. What Uzi mods I have on my Uzi. However, make sure to go and check out everything you need to know video. And that video in the description will have more video links that explain everything about mods. Or just scroll down through this description and you'll find two videos that explain everything about mods and LDOE. 
or go on YouTube and type LDOE Cyric Mods, and there will be two videos that you can watch. Get the Glock here. Just so that I can deal with this dude faster. Of course it gets bad at. Of course, why wouldn't I? Okay, I'm getting a lot of damage. Because I'm bleeding and everything. Okay. Hide here. Had seven health, barely survived. That's fine. Everything was calculated. That room was ridiculous. And I got hit in the face again. Disgusting. Very, very disgusting. Those slashers do a lot of damage. When they hit you in the face. Okay, let's get these guys. It's like, why don't you sell your boat for 3k and use all of it to revive? What boat? What 3k and what revive? Very confused, but welcome to the stream regardless. Okay, we are attacking the exploder. I don't want to attack the exploder. I want to attack the other dude. Well, I guess we'll have to deal with the Exploder, then I'll just pop it with a Glock. Okay, one more attack. And it is going to pop. Let's just keep an eye on those parasites. I'm not really sure how much damage those parasites do. I don't really want to find out. I'll just get a Glock and I'll deal with them. They're not that expensive. What time do you start streaming? Around this time. Around the current time. That's when I start streaming. 6 p.m. Central European time. I'd say. That's about right. Why, why is you have on your character's bag? It's a very nice comment. Very descriptive. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, let's hop in here. I think it's nice to have a Glock. Because what if we have the spitter in that room? Could have probably sneak attack. Okay, we do not have any spitters here. Okay... I think I should be able to hide here. Okay, they're not attacking me. Beautiful. I could probably wall trick them. But I, I'm just going to thin out the crowd faster with one of the Glocks. That's what I'm going to end up doing on my free-to-play account anyways. Now it's much easier to use my machete. Okay, just got to be careful of that slasher. I might as well get damage from the Groaner, but I don't want to get damage from the Slasher. They were kind of spread out evenly. I think I could have wall tricked them there with the Machete, but that's alright. They didn't have a lot of health. Bro ended the stream by accident. What do you mean, ended the stream? We are still live. And we are done. How do you get guns in easy way? Bunker Alpha. And make sure to check out everything you need to know video. Link is down in the description. Uh, there you'll learn everything you need to know. Okay, let's open up the door and then let's try to sneak attack kind of quickly. Whoops, didn't work. Whoop. That did work. And we have another spitter. Stupid. 
very, very stupid. Okay, so I'll try to destroy that spitter. And we have this juggernaut that'll take forever. And I got stuck. Of course I got stuck. Why wouldn't I get stuck? Well, at least the Toxic Spewer attacked me only at the very end, so that's cool. Okay. Of course. Of course. <laughs> it exited the damn floor! The damn thing. Okay, come here. Okay. Don't move. There we go. Now it worked. Ladies and gentlemen, it worked. Where do you get helicopter parts? So you cannot get the helicopter. You cannot... Yeah, helicopter is not in the game. That's the answer. You cannot get the helicopter parts because helicopter is not in the game. What a joke. Laboratory event should be easier. Yep, that dude just speeds up the attack. No, wait. Yes, that's true. The dude is faster. The dude becomes faster? Or am I tripping? Yeah, the dude definitely becomes faster. Okay, well, we dealt with the guy. I don't really know if that's what the Juggernaut does, or that's some sort of a debuff that I had there. Interesting. We will get any other vehicles in last, or perhaps uh, the helicopter one day. I don't know when, but perhaps one day. Okay, they're going to attack me. Let's deal with this guy while I can. And no, no, I got stuck! Once again, I got hit with that slasher's attack. Okay, let's restore all the health, and... Okay, I'm just looking at the slasher here. I don't really care about the other guy. I don't want to get damage from the slasher. Okay, now we can keep wall tricking the slasher little by little. So yeah, after this, we're definitely ready to clear the laboratory on the free to play account. We just need more healing items. I'm sure if you don't do any mistakes, you can probably save more healing items. But hey, I'll be realistic. I will make mistakes. It's normal. It's LDOE. You will be making mistakes. Let's get this. Another card. Uh, can I open up the room? Obviously, I cannot because I don't have the the opening perks room. And I've gotten only 28 cards here. What is this? Disappointment is immeasurable. Of course. Oh, that dude didn't even see me. Sick. Let's probably get the Glock to deal with it a little bit faster. The dude just came all the way to the top. Oh my goodness, my Glock. My Glock. Okay. I know we don't ha we have that stun immunity, but I don't want to overuse it. That we did it. Now let's just avoid these guys. If that is going to work. And that worked. We were able to wall trick them. Again, I'm pretty sure I, got, I was able to do it here. But I'm not going to be able to do it on my free to play account. I'll mess up this wall trick. And I'll need to run somewhere else. In any case, that's alright. That's why I said the laboratory is all about improvising. You could probably study the laboratory. You could make a perfect tutorial for it. For every door and everything. But you're not going to be able to do the laboratory perfectly every run. Unless you like study for it and you think about it. Your armor. Yep, our armor is very low. I didn't even see how that dude moved. Okay, got hit in the face. Of course, I got hit in the face. Why wouldn't I? Finally, this dude died. Uh, 
Uh, perhaps I'll try to fight this boss with unmodded weapons, because that's what I'll have on my free-to-play account. So how about I just get, like, Glocks and shotguns, and that's about it. Okay, let's open up. Well, I'm gonna restore some health. I'll open this up. Um, what is the main upgrade I should try to max out first on my chopper? Is space. So that you can store more items in your thing. We can get 50 cards before. Yes, we need to open up the doors, though. We need to open up other doors. I'll do that at the end before I go and fight the boss. Uh, I'm gonna use what? We can definitely have first aid kits, or we can use bandages on the boss. That's all right. However, do I have any unmodded guns on in my inbox? Okay, we got some shotguns. And we have some unmodded Glocks. Let's get two Glocks. Two unmodded Glocks. I also want to use a shotgun. I want to use that as well, just for the test. Let's get a shot. It should have gotten one Glock and one shotgun. Okay, let's get this. We need another set of armor. So let's get a set of armor. Equipment and another tactical set. With the gun, you can get the Genesis uh, gun to kill the boss. Wait, I don't even remember. Do I really need to use my Genesis guns on this boss? You can just use whatever guns to kill the boss. Maybe with Genesis guns, it's cheaper. That's why I want to try to this block. I don't remember. It's been a while since I killed him in normal mode. I just used to... I used, I'm used i used to killing him in the hard mode. Whatever, let's see. I think it should be fine. I think bandages would have been better. On this boss. Can you just stay here and soak up the damage? Yeah, bandages would have been better because we do get a lot of damage. And using first aid kits on this boss isn't worth it. Okay. We're done with this. Okay. Almost messed it up. Okay, the dude's gonna get out of here. Let's get the bandages instead. Let's just wait for this guy. Yeah, I think the Glock will be better. The shotgun throws me off. Okay. okay I'm still fast enough with the shotgun. Cool. I don't like that the boss keeps moving closer. You just have to dodge these attacks in time. Keep a little bit of a distance. Get another Glock here. I I'm st I stand here in a horrible spot at the very middle. I do not like this. Okay, I can still dodge it then. Beautiful. Yeah, there we go. We did it. The boss was relatively doable and that's about it that's how you get your flight controllers there we go you get your flight controller and then you dip out you can also clear the b1 or the b2 sectors however i have the bad debuff right now uh, i cannot fill up my bioreactor wait we're gonna fill up the bioreactor but the boss the the zombies have 50 percent melee debuff okay, let's drop that here so yeah zombies now have 50 percent melee debuff Wait, I don't want to start the B2 sector because I'm not even sure if I'll be clearing that B2 sector. I can't use melee weapons on it anyways. There we go. Zombies have 50%. Enemies take 50% less damage from melee weapons. So it's going to be very difficult to clear that place with melee weapons when they take 50% less damage. They already don't take a lot of damage with melee weapons. So this is a pretty bad debuff. Are you clearing the transport up today? Probably. Because we've cleared the A sectors. We could also go and clear B sectors with just guns, but I don't know if it's worth it. I just wanted to to clear the A sectors and what I've learned nothing. Yeah, this was like a test run before I try clearing this place on my free to play account. And all I've learned is that hey, bringing a couple of Glocks and a few melee weapons should suffice. That's about it. 
clear the B sector. We could clear the B sector, but it'll have to bring guns. I'm not gonna do it with melee weapons because they take 50% less damage with melee weapons. This is the worst side for free-to-play players, especially on A1. I think A1 was easier than BA2. A2 is more difficult. There are many more clumps of zombies. On A1, you can wall trick more zombies. I don't know. So I'm not really sure if I want to clear the B sectors. I'll have to bring guns just to clear the B sectors. Maybe I'll do it. Let's go back to the base. Let's get the guns and let's clear perhaps the B sectors. But I'll just get the guns. As I said, melee weapons don't do enough damage now. More acid melters in A1. There are a lot of acid melters. That is true. However, if you constantly keep thinking about them, if you do not forget about them, you can probably avoid them. Especially if you are ready to use some guns. It is possible to avoid them. I wasn't lucky I did lose a lot of armor. So that's kind of sad. Will you do free to play live tomorrow? No, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know when that video is coming out. Maybe never. It was just a test run. Oh, I haven't gotten all the cards. No, 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 wait. I'm gonna go back to the A1 and A2 sectors. Gotta go back. Gotta go back. Because I haven't gotten enough green cards. It's like we want new update. I hope it... We come out soon. Nice. I hope too that it comes out soon. But A1 and A2 sectors, as I said, they are a lot easier than B sectors. B sectors have many more zombies. It's a lot more tricky than the A sectors. Like, A sectors are easy, and that's why if you want to get the drone, I advise you to only clear A1 and A2 sectors. The You shouldn't probably touch B sectors. They're not worth it. I think I might, perhaps, one day clear those B sectors on the free-to-play account, but I don't know if they're worth it. Oh, no, we have new enemy types. Should have opened that up before. Should have opened up all the rooms before. In any case, let's get the first aid kits. Let's get here a couple of Glocks real quick. Because I'll need to destroy the zombies and the new zombies. This dude, this dude. Let's do the leg shot and let's destroy this Awakener. I have to kill the blob. So that those zombies die as well. Now they can die. Well, the B sector is still easy in a way. B sector... Is it easier than A1 and A2 sector? Do you have to use more weapons in B1 and B2 sector? I'm not saying like there are impossible. Wait, how, how many crates have opened here? None. I'm kind of confused. Where are the crates in the A2 sector? There always has to be a crate here. Okay, there's one crate here. And where's the second crate? Wait, I'm a bit confused. Each floor has two crates. So one crate was here. Then one crate could have been either in this room or in this room. It doesn't have any crates here. Oh, we've got in the crate. It's going to be there in the middle. Okay, so that's why it didn't have any more crates. Okay, cool. I'm a donut. I'm a bloody donut. And yeah, there was one crate here just next to the pass park room. Okay, so we've already cleared the A1 sector. It was pointless for us to come here and deal those, deal with those other zombies. What is the benefit of, the, of clearing hard mode lab? No benefits. You shouldn't do it. Okay, so we haven't opened up special rooms here. Okay, there's a crate. Uh, cool. Am I still getting damage when I stand on this thing? Of course I am getting damage. For these toxic spewers, maybe I'll even take AKs on my free-to-play, if I have any. It'll be faster. Because they are a bit annoying. Luckily, they don't damage the armor. 
so they're not that bad. Is the snowy area worth it, uh, worth the grind? If you want to get copper, then yes. If no, then no. We should be getting copper, uh, uh, recycling batteries, or clearing the transport hub, or the fourth floor, or the farm location, or by checking out everything you need to know video. Link is down in the description. But if you want to get more copper, then I guess you can farm for it. Does Bumper Deer Park consume additional grenades? The ones you have to carry. No, it doesn't. Unlock the raids on the free to play. We have to reach level 150 for that. Perhaps one day, if we grind enough on the free to play account. If we grind enough on the free to play. Okay, so this is the first box, then we gotta get another box. Usually from my experience, these boxes aren't close to one another. So if one box is here, then most likely the other box will be perhaps... I don't even know if it'll be here. I might be mistaken, but I feel like the other box will be here. There is definitely a pattern to those boxes. Oh no, I made a mistake. The box isn't here. No, and I have to deal with these guys now. Disgusted. I just want to deal with the scientist. And now we can deal with this stupid other guy. He already opened the box. Did I ignore all of the boxes? Maybe. chat if they answer your question wait for Sayak to say the goddamn thing I have no idea what that means welcome to the stream I guess very confused just keep doing bun Ralph and you'll be there in two months to Saturn thanks for the tips and tricks thank you Saturn thank you with those tips and tricks we are definitely gonna start raiding Wait, I have probably opened up the second crate. Wait, 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 wait. I just realized because the second crate is here. So wait, I didn't get enough green cards. Yeah, the second crate was here. I didn't get enough green cards. I only have 45 green cards. Maybe I haven't killed all the zombies to get more green cards. Probably some of the zombies also have more green cards. That is ridiculous. Honestly... Completely ridiculous. Okay, I'll try to open up this room. And perhaps I'll be able to sneak attack this guy. Maybe this dude drops us a card. It's so annoying that they... That the dude restores health. Like, homie. Stop it. Get some help. No, it did not drop us a card. Well, doesn't matter. 45 green is 45 green. I'm not going to kill other zombies. Doesn't matter. Don't care. Welcome to meet when, man, says Arnav. I'm sorry, I forgot to send the, a person a letter. I'll go to the mail place. To the post office. And I'll send you a personal letter saying welcome. Welcome to those that have just joined to the stream. Welcome, welcome. We've just cleared the A1 and A2 sectors with melee weapons. We used some guns here and there. And there we go. Okay, so let's probably bring guns and we'll clear the B sectors as well. I don't know. We could. But 
are we gonna? Perhaps, I don't know. We have the transport up. I think the transport up and more raids will be more fun than clearing the B sectors. What do you think, guys? Or perhaps just more raids. And I want to open up the A card as well. Can I have your account for like a stick of gum, says Crunch Donig. Depends what kind of gum you're talking about. If it's Huba Booba, sure, you can take my account. And we've gotten three Genesis weapons for clearing this floor. Kind of cool. They'll be useful for your transport hub. Well, we didn't get 20. We didn't get 50 of those green cards. It didn't have enough. We could have killed more zombies. But it's fine. Okay, let's try to bring this loot back to the base. I still don't think the laboratory is worth it because we've cleared two sectors and I've only gotten three Genesis guns. Which is cool. At least we're getting these guaranteed Genesis guns. So that's fine. We can use them on the transport hub. But yeah... Should you do this limited time event? I clear this lab every two days, says Alpha Drawn. Yes, indeed. I mean, from that event, we have gotten, what? Four carbon composites and four factory parts. Which is an okay amount of... Which is something, right? You still probably shouldn't be clearing the laboratory unless you want to get the drone. If you want to get the drone, you might as well do it during this event. As during this event, you will get some carbon composites. And they are pretty rare if you want to assemble some mods. So there's that. He said hubba booba. Lol, it's hubba baba. I didn't know that that's how people pronounce it. That's how he pronounced it in Lithuania. It's hubba booba, and it'll always stay hubba booba. It's not gonna be hubba baba. What's hubba baba? I, I never even thought about it. Hubba baba! If I knew that it's called hubba baba, there's no way I would eat that chewing gum. There's no way I'd put it in my mouth. Hubba booba, on the other hand, that's what I'm talking about. Huba Booba gives me happiness. Like, when I think about Huba Booba, I'm like, yeah, that's my childhood. But Hubba Baba, that, I'd be scared to eat that. I'd be scared to eat Hubba Baba, I'm not gonna lie. But as the, yeah, I'm 26 years old and only now I've learned that people actually say Hubba Baba. I didn't even know that it's, that that chewing gum is in other countries. I just said it for the memes, maybe somebody would have known. But I'm surprised to see that people know that thing as well. Buggers. Did they have learned something new? Hubby Wubby is our gum in the US. Hubby Wubby. <laughs> Hubby Wubby. It's like in a circle. It's like... Uh, not like a snail, but it's in, in a circle. Let's quickly eat some food. I was today years old. Yes, that's what I was searching for. I was today years old. When I've learned that Hubba Bubba is Hubba Bubba. I've let my avocados ripen. And maybe they ripened. Maybe that one avocado was already good. I don't know. I popped one today and it was... It was poggers. That's it. That's my avocado adventure. Those unripe avocados stayed and they ripened. Or maybe it was already ripe. I don't know. Third time asking. Do you want last day on Marth survival? Thanks for asking that question three times. I'm glad I finally saw your comment. Thank you very much. And no. My answer is no. And if your follow-up question is why, I don't care. That's my answer to the follow-up question. Because I don't care about LDOE Mars. love your TikToks. I don't have any TikToks. I do not have TikTok. What do you mean you love my TikToks? Hubba Bubba was released in the US in 1979. Speaking of Hubba Bubba, I can't believe I'm calling it Hubba Bubba. It's Hubba Bubba. I've tried Hubba Bubba maybe only a handful of times, but those were the days.
Those were definitely the days. Uh, the Genesis guns will go here if they fit. And ladies and gentlemen, we have somehow some way sorted out the inventory. Oh yeah. We did it. There we go, we did it. The inventory is sorted out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now let's probably talk to the raiders. Let's do some raids, perhaps. Let's do the transport. We have cleared it like yesterday on the video, so maybe we'll clear it again today. Maybe we won't. I don't know. What I do know, though, is that we need to find an engine. We also need to kill the blind one. We haven't killed the blind one for the tasks in, in a couple of moons now. So how about we raise three doggos? Before we do that, let's try to feed them. Let's give them a stack of turkeys. A stack of turkey. A stack of turkeys. One stack of turkeys. A stack of turkeys sounds normal. Let's go. I listen to the stream in the background and suddenly I hear hubba bubba, hubba bubba, lol. What's up with that, says Ramen. It's chewing gum. It's just chewing gum. Choose ATV transmission crate, please, says Saturn. If I get the ATV transmission crate, then maybe I'll open it. Or maybe I won't open it. Probably I won't. It'll depend from the chat. Bro, how to get high rank poppy? It's random. Make sure to check out everything you need to know video or... I don't think that even answers in everything you need to know video. You'll benefit from everything you need to know video. And check out FAQ section in the description. Uh, let's open this. this. Just breed the doggos. There's no, no secrets, nothing. It's just all random. Sometimes you get a high ranking doggo. Sometimes you don't. That's all there is to it. If you get white Genesis crate, open it. It means it has good rewards. The one I've opened on yesterday's video. Thanks. Also, you just said that I should open up the ATV transmission crate. So which crate you want me to open? I'm very confused. Uh, let's get the engines. YouTube desperately needs to add the ability to send pictures via live chat. That would be a horrible idea. I wouldn't want that. Why would I need to see pictures in the live chat? Why would I want to filter the pictures? It's already enough that I have to look at the chat. And sometimes there are some messages that... That, that make my hair stand up. But take your bolt. You don't have any hair. Okay. And why would I want to look at... Potential dick pics from the chat. Thank you, but no. How would anybody want to see that? We don't need pictures in the live chat. Thank you. And I've forgotten what I wanted to do here. That comment just uh, blew my mind. I was getting ready to, 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 to do what? To kill the blind one? And there's something else that I wanted to do. I've forgotten completely. Oh, I was going to the to the place to the highway. I was going to the highway, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for us to clear the highway. Guys, I can't progress in the settlement because I need to build a sawmill, but I don't have it locked. Do you guys know what to do? You have to progress through the survivor's path and it should tell you how to build that sawmill. It's there. If it's not there or there are some errors, you can always... If the game glitched or whatever, you can always contact support and they'll help you out. Just click here on the support button and they should help out. But you should just progress through the survivor's guide and it'll show you how to build it.
As a, wise, as a wise man once said, there are no dumb answers, only dumb questions, says High Lord. I 100% agree with you. Couldn't have said better myself. Okay, let's up on the top and let's dip out of here. Opinion on Bunker Zulu. I do have an opinion. Good opinion. Bunker Zulu, yes. Let's go to the highway. How did you... I almost choked on saliva. How did you increase the storage size in the port? Uh, by clearing the hard mode laboratory. And then you level up the reputation with Jane, Jennifer, whatever her name is. And you can store more loot there. are here at the highway homies time for us to find one of the engines what is the cheapest way to clear the laboratory i've cleared the laboratory just about like an hour ago half an hour ago i started clearing it about an hour ago so make sure to check it out just go back an hour in the live stream through the stream just go back an hour in the stream and you will be able to see how we cleared that laboratory that was a cheap way to clear the laboratory Of course. Of course! Disappointment is immeasurable. Can you recycle a normal generator? Uh, yes, you can pick it up and you can recycle it. It's not really worth it, but you can recycle them, I guess. Can you recycle generators? You can recycle engines, but can you recycle generators? I'm not actually sure about that. I wouldn't bet. I'm pretty sure you can. I just, I don't think I've ever recycled it. I've recycled engines. I don't think I've ever tried recycling a generator. I saw that comment many times already, but I'll read it. Remember you said once, I'll pay you to take my account. Hand it over. Smiley face says crunch. <laughs> That's funny. There we go. I read the comment, I did my reaction, smash like, smash subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Smash like, smash subscribe, hit the no notification bell, check out my merch, psychstore.com. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, follow me on X Twitter. Like X Twitter, like EX, X Twitter. Like your X, X Twitter, and X, it's also called now X, X Twitter. I didn't have to explain that. But yeah, follow me on X Twitter. And uh, at HappyCyric. Follow me on Instagram, at HappyCyric. What else can I plug here? I don't even know. Yes, but can you recycle uh, Huba Booba, says Matthew. I don't have any Huba Booba. If I had Huba Booba, I'd definitely try... I'd definitely try recycling it. When is Lunar New Year gonna start, Cyric? I don't have the slightest clue, but... According to Google, the Lunar New Year starts on February 10th. So around that time, we should get the Lunar New Year update. Perhaps earlier. It doesn't mean that we'll get it exactly on February 10th. Maybe it'll begin five days earlier. Maybe it'll begin a week earlier. Maybe it'll begin two days earlier. I don't know. Am I going to clear this place fully? And eh, whatever. Let's do this. I'm going to get my spread shot. I didn't want to save that guy. But let's save it. Go help that dude. Why did I help him? I don't know. But it did help him. Did you gonna make more Westland survival? That's a very nice question. And I don't know if there will be more Westland survival. Perhaps. Matthew! I forgot to change the... the oh my god! Wow! Uh, sound effect for the members, so now it's gonna say that five times. However, thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you for five gifted memberships. Our green army keeps growing. I will have to release the cooking videos with Sire just for members. So yeah, thanks, Matthew. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for supporting the channel. Congrats, Civil Bear, DJ Ghosty, Martin Turbo, 
and uh, Cyber Glitch, congrats for for getting the members. And thanks, Matthew. Thanks for the support of the channel. My audio engineer. Matthew, did you see that time uh, during the live stream? I think somebody told you in the chat yesterday that we spoke about you like two live streams ago. Did you go to that live stream? Did you find where we spoke about you or you didn't? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. In any case, welcome to the stream. Glad to see you here. I've tried 84 times, but become a member, but it won't let me. Uh, no worries about it. If it doesn't let you, it doesn't let you. I don't know why, but no worries. Thank you for being here. I looked back and I didn't find it, says Matthew. Yikes. Basically, general consensus was that people presumed you were dead. They started talking to you like you were dead, like in the past tense, and it was just kind of funny. That's about it. That was the, that was the thing. We spoke about you, I don't know, maybe for, for a minute, for two minutes. I don't know, kind of, a little bit. Just mentioned your name a few times, but that was probably like the joke. I don't know the exact timestamps though. Matthew was with us in spirit. Exactly. Somebody asked like, where's Matthew? And I said, Matthew isn't here, but hey, I said his spirit is still here. Something like that. Uh, let's drop the, 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 these thingies. Add more perks to higher level members as Machine Gamer 728. Thank you. Uh, thank you for, wait, not being my, how was the thing? Thank you for being my business man manager. Thank you, Machine Gamer. Thank you. What kind of perks? I don't have any perks. If people want to support the channel, they can support the channel. I don't have any perks to give them. Sadly. That's about it. I don't have any exclusive content. It is what it is. Let's drop the shotgun. And the saw blade mace. Um, the big one, the blind one, whatever is the same dude. Potato, patata, ladies and gentlemen. I definitely need to delete these red guns. I got the emotes, says Martin. Congrats uh, on your emotes. Saturn asks, opinion on gambling, please tell me. You've asked that comment today a couple of times and you kept asking that question throughout the past couple of live streams. I have to answer the same questions because a lot of the people keep asking the same questions. Lots of different people ask the same questions. So I answer the same questions. You don't have to ask the same question every live stream, Saturn. I see your name. I see you keep asking the same question about gambling every live stream. I get it. It's funny, but why do you have to keep asking the same question every live stream? It's just, I don't know, kind of interesting. Uh, the blind one is. Oh, sorry, we'll say that you should sell your kidney and gamble. Oh, I already said that two, three times. Probably already answered your comment two, three times during the past couple of days. Why do you have to keep ask, asking the same question again? In any case, on that note, let's go to the hard mode bunker alpha. We're going to kill the blind one. I don't have any fuel. Angry Capybara. What a beautiful name. I want the Capybara. They are majestic animals. And why is uh, your capybara angry? When more miss survival? I don't have a slightest clue when there will be more miss survival. Don't have an idea even. We're gonna go to the hard mode bunker alpha. 
Okay, then I have a new question. Do you think hard mode alpha is worth it to Saturn? Very beautiful question. Thank you for asking it here. You definitely needed the answer for it. Thank you. If you could permanently delete one question from the chat forever, uh, what would it be? This one says Justin. No, I wouldn't delete that comment. It's fine. <sighs> Nobody gave me the password. The disappointment is immeasurable. But that's all right. Are we going to play Pal World? I think I've asked the chat many times, should we play Pla Pal World or LDOE? And people kept saying LDOE, so it's not up to me. If the chat wants me to play Pal World, I will play Pal World. However, I mean, I can probably... Uh, should I play Pal World or, or LDOE? There we go. There's the, the chat can answer, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. And we need the password. Where is my password? Uh, 11785. There we go, that worked. Ladies and gentlemen, that worked. I saw a lot of you try to give, give me fake passwords. Thank you guys for trying to bamboozle me. But it ain't my first rodeo. Buckaroo. Honestly, Bunker Alpha feels not that good anymore. They haven't changed anything in Bunker Alpha. It's still the same. How do you farm more efficiently in Bunker Alpha? Check out everything you need to know about last on Earth. So this is obviously not an efficient way to farm Bunker Alpha. That's why I'm telling you to check out everything you need to know about LDOE. Link is in the description. Let's start the hard mode just so that we can kill the blind one. Maybe Pal World can be a new Geo Guesser now that Geo is changing so it can be an end of the stream thing. Uh, I don't know. I guess we're going to keep playing last. Year. That's the decision that I made. We're still going to check out some other survival games that I'm very excited about. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie. Like there, there's a lot of hype around Pal World. However, it only works for certain YouTubers. Like some people have tried it and it doesn't work on their channel. So by my calculations, Pal World isn't going to work here on the channel. And I'm not that excited about Pal World. I do not like how it looks like. That's it. That's basically that. It can be. It can be very fun. A lot of people love Pal World. It's probably fun. I just don't like the. I don't like Pokemon. I'm not into Pokemon. They're fine, but I was never into Pokemon. So I'm playing Pal World is. It's not that too exciting. I guess that's why I haven't tried Pal World yet. However, I also made a decision that we'll probably keep playing Last Earth until it lasts. I don't know how long that's going to last. I know that Last Earth is uh, on its last breath, I guess. So we'll keep playing Last Earth maybe for one more year, maybe two more years. I don't know. It depends. But then once we're done, we're done. So that's the decision that I made. That's why I don't really try a lot of new games here because plus we don't really have a lot of new games. However, I am still going to try games that I'm excited about like Pacific Drive. I'm excited about that game. So I am going to play it. So yeah, that's about it. I also want to try Enshrouded. I am more excited about Enshrouded than Pal World. Pal World is the best game. Maybe it is a great game. As I said, I have nothing against it. I'm sure if I tried it, I'd love it. So that's about it. Okay, let's deal with the blind one here. Let's open up the door. And let's put this dude to sleep. Can you show Uzi mods? Do I have my Uzi? There we go. These are the Uzi mods. Or you can go on YouTube and type LDOE Cyric mods or check out the description and you'll find the more info. I didn't get the shotguns for the dude. No, that's disappointing. That's so stupid. 
That's very stupid of me, ladies and gentlemen. I should have gotten the shotgun. The shotgun is perfect on the blind one. And yet, here I am. Whatever, it does only 8 damage. Should have definitely gotten the shotgun. Which armor are you using? The tactical armor. I'm using the tactical armor. Okay, whatever, gotta heal up again because I want to have 120 health. Then it's easier to dodge the blind one. My poor doggo is locked outside. Tactical is easy and it's reliable. It is easy to craft. However, you don't really have to craft it. I mean, if you want to craft the tactical armor, you can. But you can get enough armors by clearing Bunker Alpha. And by reusing your leather armor. As I said many times already through the live stream, make sure to check out everything you need to know video. About last night. I'm sure you're gonna like it. And Shrouded is like Valheim. Yeah, that's what I've heard uh, from other people. I've seen like some little snippets of Enshrouded. It looks kind of cool. I like it. I've also seen some snippets of Bal World. Like I guess it's fine in some cases, in some spots. But as I said, I'm just not the biggest fan of Pokemon. But saying like they're not Pokemon, they're pals. It's probably a fun game. As I said, I have nothing against Bal World. A lot of people love it, so I'm pretty sure Pal World is amazing. And maybe I will try it. Maybe I'll change my opinion. And maybe I'll try it. I have no idea. I saw people talking about the update on official Discord and they were saying next week. Cool. Very nice. I also say that it's coming out maybe next week as well. Yeah, probably it's going to come out next week. It makes more. It makes a lot of sense because next week is going to be February 10th. And as I said, it should come out around February 10th and around February 10th is next week. So that's what I've been saying. Uh, for the past, like, probably five days. What about Fable, Cyric? I haven't heard of Fable. Maybe I have heard of it. I'm not sure. Okay, let's give these hard mode items. Let's do this. So if you want to open up Floppy Craze, that's, like, probably the best way to open up that Floppy Craze. Just keep killing the blind one every time the dude resets. And eventually, you will get enough of those hard mode items to open up that hard mode crate. Can you show me your AK mods? I don't have my AK here, but uh, I literally just probably answered that question. So you can either go and check out the FAQ in the description or go on YouTube and type LDOE Cyric mods. And you'll find which mods you should get and which mods you shouldn't get and uh, what's what. Okay, we couldn't travel there because I got that connection lost. Disappointment is immeasurable. I haven't farmed any wood today yet. I just realized that I haven't gotten any ash trees. I guess before the raid, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go and uh, get some wood. Maybe after the raid. We haven't gotten wood today yet. I just realized that we gotta get wood. Wood, ladies and gentlemen. Wood. It's all about wood. Or maybe we'll do it after the raid. Let's probably do it after the raid. Yes, after the raid sounds alright. Your playthrough of free to play playlist on last internet is very helpful, says DJ Ghosty. I'm glad you found that helpful. Thanks for checking it out. What are we doing? What are we bloody doing? Getting ready for the raid. That's what we are doing. And plus another reason that we haven't played Pal World is because there we go. There's another poll here and 77% of you said that we should play more last and only 23% of you said to play more Pal World. To start playing Pal World. 
Okay, it's not all about the polls and everything, but there we go. That's also another reason. Um, we gotta get another armor because whatever we have here is not going to be enough. That armor is destroyed. Imagine last under 2.0 comes out. The less health you have, the more destroyed armor gets. Like you'll can you'll can you can see you'll be able to to see holes through that armor. It'll be dirty and other stuff. That'll be sick. Psych last dinner 2.0 is coming out. Yes, and it'll have the helicopter. Um, let's drop it here. And the brain is not braining, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, you gotta squeeze that brain. You gotta massage it. Okay, we were getting ready to, to do the raid. That's what we are doing. There we go. And we need to open up three green cards. Let's do it. Uh, three green cards. This callus is annoying me, ladies and gentlemen. I'll share it. Zoom! So yeah, this thing... Is a little bit annoying. I keep playing with it, and it's kind of dangerous to play with it because I know if I pull in correctly, it'll be bad. But that's it. Just thought I'll share why I'm so distracted today. Uh, let's hope. Let's go to the police department. Calisthenic psych, more like uh, using mouse and keyboard psych. That's a gamer callus. Yes, indeed. From from the mouse. I came back. What happened? Nothing happened. No worries. I hope the next update is something big like this Christmas event and not just skins. Hopefully. This location is reset. Can I even open up any crates? Why is it reset in the first place? I don't know. In any case, I'm going to open up now three green. And let's see. We've got an, two katanas, a Glock, and uh, a saw blade mace. I mean, it was all right. That was an all right crate. Let's be honest. Let's get the two katanas. And let's bring all of this loot back to the base. What can you do with car battery? I just got it from the shipwreck event. You can use it to assemble your ATV. Okay, let's go back home. batteries for the drone save them uh, what batteries what save them in any case time for us to do a raid raid number one of the day maybe that raid will be actually raid number two because we already had a revenge raid yes we had a revenge raid and I need to drop things in the old pickup truck. Might as well drop a spear just in case the uh, raiders aren't happy with that armor here. Um, melee weapons go here. Okay, that stuff doesn't fit. How about we drop melee weapons here? That stuff does fit. And uh, some things here. And also the caps. Now the brain is loading. I'm trying to remember where I store those caps. Uh, let's get a f five hatchets. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get five normal hatchets. And ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to roll? If, we, if you don't want to roll, we can just walk. I'm 
so jealous of your base. Don't be jealous. Be better. If you want more motivational quotes, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, notification bell. Threads. Who uses threads? Like, threads is like Twitter, but from Meta. Who uses threads? I didn't have threads, and I do not have threads. In any case, let's get out of here. Let's do the first raid of the day. Saturn, I see your comment. You keep asking it just for the sake of asking it. Stop it. Get some help. I need that meme. Stop it. Get some help. Yeah, I need to get the the special key bind. And then the dude will appear. Stop it. Get some help. That'll be amazing. Perhaps one day I'll do this. Perhaps now. If Matthew does that, right? Matthew's my audio guy. I pay him with, with canned beans and spears. El Diri Raid Yin Yo Face. Yin Yo Face! That's a beautiful play on world. Uh, on words. On world. That's a be It's the pal world ruined everything. Yeah, that's a beautiful play on words. Yin Yo Face! That's a, that's beautiful. I didn't realize that until I said that out loud. Hell yeah! It's a beautiful name. I like it. And how do we enter this base? Okay, I know how to enter it. That's beautiful. That's all we need to know. What event? The laboratory event. Bro, I'm just asking. Was the worst crate in your opinion? I don't know. The the first aid crate. You've just asked that question many times. You've asked this question five, six, seven times. And as soon as I'm done answering that question, you're just going to come up with another question that you'll keep spamming until I answer it. Why do you do this, homie? No matter what question, you'll just ask again something random. Oh, what's your opinion on Bun Kralfa? Like, doesn't matter. You'll keep spamming that question again until I answer it. Why? As soon as I answer one question, I'll just immediately ask another one. And I didn't get a C4. Disappointed. Let's get a C4. I'm just a curious man. Okay. Let's, let's explode the wall. And, uh, look at all these chests. We have five, six chests, ladies and gentlemen. Seven, actually. Insane. When does new scum video come out? The sooner, the better. I don't know when, though. It's not probably coming out anytime soon, though, because it's not on the radar. It's not on the radar? Well, I'm not thinking about releasing another scum survival video anytime soon, because I don't know what to do there anymore. I'm out of content. I'm out of ideas. And uh, people aren't interested in Scum Survival videos as much. So those are the reasons why I'm not... I haven't posted more Scum Survival videos yet. Let's get some more planks back to the base. On which level should I open? Should I open the Banca Bravo? Says Rico. I don't know. Whenever you can, do it during the event. Uh, let's get the tickets. I'll bring him back to the base. Why not? Oh, we've already opened up that crate. So there's only one more crate and that's it. It's like, can we get a motel tutorial? <laughs> How to clear the motel. That'd be probably the most useless video that I've ever done. And I've done a lot of probably useless videos. Hey, your videos are not useful. They're useless. They're amazing. Thank you. But yeah, how to clear the motel tutorial. That'd be insane. That would seriously be an insane tutorial. That was the raid, ladies and gentlemen. We've gotten just blanks and that's it. Kinda sad. Okay, well, money aside, would it help progression a lot or not worth it? What would... Probably that question is not meant for me. I don't know why they added so many bunker cards, but we only have two bunkers. I don't know either. I don't know either.
do how to open airdrop tutorial. We should also do that. We should do that. How to clear the motel. Step one, get 10 scars, says Martin. Yes. Yes. If you don't have 10 scars, don't even think about clearing the motel. Don't even think about it. And after that, I'll do the airdrop tutorial. For the airdrop, you need five grenade launchers. Okay, I needed these hatchets. I needed them, man, because we're gonna go to the swamp location. I haven't cleared the swamp yet today. Drop it here, the circuits, these electronic circuits, where did they go? I forgot. There we go, somebody wanted the base door, there we go, that was the base door. What if I give them these broken glocks, are they gonna be happy with them? I guess we're about to find out. Let's also get the ghillie suit. I have it. Or maybe I don't have it. Let's get another ghillie suit from the inbox. Uh, there we go. Let's equip it and let's dip out. This works. Okay, so they got two broken glocks and they're not too happy with it. They're kind of happy, but they're not extremely happy. Let's drop it here. Let's share that. And let's dip out. Let's absolutely dip out of here. Um, yeah, that's enough hatchets. Wait, have I called the raiders on the raid? Yes, I did. I've just called them. Wait, I want to see what kind of tasks they want me to do. Okay, third floor and... Alright, understandable. Have a nice day. Yo, Elis and Nachi. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Wish you all the best to you and everyone. Thanks, mate. Welcome to the stream. Don't do it. Uh, don't do what? I'm sorry if I'm doing something. I don't know what I'm supposed to do and what I'm supposed to not to do. Alright, let's jump down another tree here. Yo, Elias, once again, and actually, sorry for butchering the name, Elias. I'm pretty sure I can say the the first name properly, Elias. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. I wish you all the best as well. And let's open up more, more trees. I didn't get a stack of first aid kit, so it's gonna be it's gonna be more difficult to get those trees or a stack of carrots or something just to split something in my inventory yeah, there we go that's better So yeah, we're just here to get two stacks of ash logs and that's it. Then we're going to dip out of here. Because I haven't farmed any ash logs. Every time I'm live, I always try to get at least two stacks of ash logs. That way I can 
upgrade my base at least little by little. Two stacks of ash logs isn't that much, but the tree just fell in my head. But yeah, but little by little, it it adds up. Okay, now I can go in auto. And of course, my character is gonna run through these character uh, through these other zombies. Got a few more trees there and here. Psych is a man of culture. He doesn't run. Uh, he doesn't run out. He simply walks away. I'm a little bit confused. Do you get bored of this deleting every zombie on site? Deleting every zombie on site and uh, just non-stop grinding, says Peppy. Uh, bored is not in my dictionary. It's a word that doesn't exist for me. What is bored? It's a beta feeling. Level five walls are useless till metal cutter uh, gets added to Saturn. That's kind of about right-ish. I don't think metal cut uh, the metal cutter will ever get added. Maybe one day they'll add it. I don't know. At this point, doesn't matter. They can add whatever to the game, as I said. As much as people would like to see the Metal Cutter in the game, I think Metal Cutter will kill LDOE. As much as uh, there is hype around it, it'll kill it. Unless they implement it in a nice way. Unless they release like some sort of a huge update, you know, the, let's say they release the helicopter, right? The helicopter introduces the level, uh, they, they introduce that, whatever it's called, the metal cutter, right? But also with the helicopter update, let's say we've got a new raid, like different kind of raids. Maybe then, and only then, I don't know. It would be difficult. The metal cutter would make so much noise if you think about it. It would make noise as well. But also it would be stupid. Like nobody would want to... Like you're never gonna have level 4 walls. Like level 4 walls are useless then. Like you shouldn't be building level 4 walls if you want to raid. Like they're just stupid. Like you should just go and build level 5 walls. And you're getting raided by bots. Again, I've already like... Talked about that metal cutter many times. I've made plenty of videos. I talked about it plenty of times during live streams. Why it would be a horrible idea. A lot of people think they would like the metal cutter, but they wouldn't. For the same reason that people want to have trading in the game. They think with trading they'll be able to get good loot. Like, hey, I'll give you five spears and you'll give me an ATV transmission. No, those deals are not going to work. At least you'll be the one providing ATV transmissions. Nobody wants your five spears for one ATV transmission. However, again, like, it's, it's not really apples to apples comparison. But yeah, I do believe that trading maybe wouldn't be that bad. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Some people are very hyped about it, so... I still think it probably wouldn't be that great for the game. Because the game's not perfect. A lot of people have obtained a lot of sketchy loot through... Uh, unofficial means. So somebody has like hundreds of probably ATV transmissions and that wouldn't really be good for LDOE economy. However, all of that stuff aside, if the game was perfect, then yeah, sure, why not add trading? But we don't even have multiplayer. What kind of trading? Every generic game has trading, says Extremer. Uh, that's true, but is Last on Earth every generic game? It is. A game for gods made by gods. So no, it's not a generic game. And that's why it doesn't have any trading.
with trading, I get it, like, trading would be cool, but at the same time, like, you wouldn't... I wouldn't have to grind for anything. It depends how trading would be implemented. If you can trade for anything with no limits... Like, I'll just, I just want to get 10 ATV transmissions, and eventually I would get them by trading. It depends, but it, I don't know, it would be silly. Again, I don't mind it, because just a lot of people want it. So I'll say that I don't mind it, but I think it would be stupid. Unless they add, like, limited trading with, like, some... Uh, only for some limited items. But if you can trade anything you want for anything in the game, then that would be kind of silly. As I said, for the reasons that people have obtained items uh, through unofficial means. However, it is what it is. And if we are continuing the topic about the metal cutter, it would be bad for the game. Unless they change a lot of things. A lot of people feel like they'll get the metal cutter. Like, they want metal cutters in the game, but developers will add metal cutters, and they'll see how expensive are those metal cutters. People will be like, Oh, never get the metal cutter. It's way too expensive. They want the metal cutter. They want to have the metal cutter update, and everybody gets 10 metal cutters. And you get to raid, like, 10 metal bases right away with, like, hundreds of guns. That's the kind of update they want. If they add the metal cutter... And Metal Cutter is expensive to get, which it is going to be expensive to get if it ever gets added to the game. People will be like, oh, it's expensive. I'll never have the Metal Cutter. It's useless. They want common Metal Cutters that every that they can get from the green zones. And they want to raid a bunch of Metal Bases. That's when what they say that they when they mean Metal Cutter. If it's not added like this, then they don't want Metal Cutters. There we go. I guess I explained everything. About metal cutters. I want trading! They add trading to the game. Let's say everything's fair. If everything was fair, nobody would want spears for ATB transmissions. Nobody would give away ATB transmission. As I said, if the game was fair. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Last on Earth Survival is a game created by gods for gods. So smash that like button on the video. And on that note, we're going to be buckling up. Thanks everybody for joining here. See you tomorrow with another video or a live stream. Perhaps. I'm sorry if I haven't seen some of your comments. I try my best to read all the comments. Sometimes I'm just lost. Sometimes I just can't read everything. At the end of the day, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching the stream. Glad to see all of you here. Take care, everybody. Uh, have a great rest of your... Have a great the rest of your Sunday. Uh, Saturday. Excuse me. It's still Saturday, not Sunday. So yeah, have a great the rest of your uh, Saturday. And take care, everybody. See you later, guys. Take care and peace out.